So if you go back to the recession in 2008, Obama takes office, the country starts to recover, but one state is recovering faster than all the rest, Texas. And this guy, this governor, Rick Perry, kind of, you know, people liked him. They thought he had a little thing going here. Rick Perry was touting this thing called the Texas Miracle. And what was the Texas Miracle? The Texas Miracle was that Texas had very low state income tax and very low corporate taxes. And it was very attractive to businesses that were downsizing. Um, this is pre-Zoom and pre the work at home era. And they were not trying to get rid of the office places at this point. They were just trying to find a way to make a cheaper office. And so what they're able to do is come out to Texas, get a lot more real estate, way lower taxes, way lower income taxes. And slowly but surely from the East Coast and the West Coast, income all of these people from California and New York and Virginia and Florida, and they move into Texas. And guess what? They don't just magically convert to being Republican when they move to Texas. What they bring in is all of their values and their sensibilities. And they arrived in Texas and they're like, holy shit, I thought this was going to be like King of the Hill, but it's like a thousand times worse. It's nowhere near as fun. Uh, I thought you people were all going to be like Hank Hill. I wish. Uh, and then they decide that they want to vote. And they do. Um, and then, kind of skip ahead here, you arrive at the point where Texas is picking people like Ted Cruz on the Republican side. That's kind of a whole different thing about the Republicans need to drift rightward um, in primaries. But then after picking Ted Cruz, Beto O'Rourke almost bumps the guy off. 